So welcome to this uh, video. Um, I've had some bad news three weeks ago. Um, I basically collapsed and I will make some further videos to explain what happened. But for now, I'm in hospital. I've got prostate cancer in my spine, which trapped nerves in my spine and it made me my legs go um, I had spinal surgery to cut some of the cancer out to untrap to really to untrap the nerves to release it but that's enough for now this video is actually about um, how in hospital um, I've now been put into a, a, a a room on my own with a shower and a toilet um, I had I just had the, the last night was the first night I was here up till now I've been in a in a rehab unit with four 80 year old um, guys around me and then I was moved f f three days ago up here onto the first floor um, something happened yesterday between me and another patient, so the staff moved me here. Um, basically, I was called a communist in a very angry voice. I'm not a communist, I'm just a very socially minded person. That's me, Felix Brunner, um, from England, here at um, Berkshire, uh, West Berkshire Community Hospital in Newbury, or between Thatcham and Newbury. Uh, down there, that's the A4, you can see a lorry, that's a Royal Mail lorry, there, right there, traffic lights, uh, let's see where I can zoom in on that a bit, yes, here we go, that's the A4, that, that road there goes from Bath, no, actually, Bristol, Bath, I can't remember, I think Bristol to, to London, and I think it was an, it used to be a Roman road, um, as, as pretty much not a straight line from London to Bath, but basically all across the south of England, the south west, and then south central and south south east. So that's a very long road, A4. That's the A4 in England. That also goes through Reading. That's where I actually live. I live in Reading. So here we go. How to transform. Um, hospital food because you know in in england we we there is um in england we have um oh i can in england we have um the nhs so basically the health system is paid for by taxpayers and there's no insurance you don't have to pay insurance in many countries around the world you have to pay insurance and the more insurance you pay the better service you get. If you pay the standard, you will get, you know, a couple of toasts for breakfast and cornflakes. If you pay a lot of insurance, then you get maybe a breakfast like this. A breakfast like this would probably, if, yeah, if you went to a restaurant and you want this breakfast, it'll cost you £20, yeah, or $25. Once I go through all the elements, you'll see what I mean. Uh, basically, I've got a box that uh, the hospital staff keep in their fridge doesn't take a lot of space and it's got all the, the the extra ingredients so i'll tell you first what the hospital provide here they they provide a, a series of um cereals like cornflakes they all have brown flakes you know healthy stuff weetabix that kind of stuff and then they, they provide toast and butter but they don't provide real butter they provide a sort of a vegan um, sunflower spread which is, is okay you know it's healthy it um, but for me it just doesn't taste very nice I have been a vegetarian for 42 years people who have been watching my videos my you know YouTube videos know that I am vegetarian I've done a few cooking videos that demonstrate how to cook something so let's go through each toast at a time okay so i basically this morning when they came in they always ask you what you want for breakfast i said four toasts then two 
bits of marmalade. Here, oh, 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 where's the marmalade? Here. Okay, so these two pots of marmalade, they're like small pots with marmalade. There's a the standard fare in the Western world. Um, then, so four toasts, and then I wanted half a half a bowl of milk, just milk. Okay, so and what I've done with with the half a bowl of milk, you can see here. Okay, I've transformed. So basically, the hospital gave me half a bowl of milk. That's all I wanted. I then put in muesli. So, and my girlfriend Alison Rathbourne brought me this muesli. Um, it's it's good. It's full of fiber. It's got a few raisins and nuts in it. Um, it's got oats in it. So it's fiber um, because I I was constipated for two and a half weeks I needed to eat lots and lots of fiber which then brings me to the other thing ripe bananas are good if you're constipated but they really have to be ripe and these are ripe I mean some people would not eat these bananas look they're already a little bit brown here if you see what I mean um, so and then the, the, that sticky stuff here on top um, where's my finger hello finger here this this stuff here that's prunes that's sort of prunes that have been dried um they're not completely dry they're quite moist and prunes are amazing because they have two types of fibers they have a fiber that helps you move your bowels sorry to speak of this and they have a fiber in in them that helps you um, digest your food so if you're constipated eat prunes lots of prunes so there's three prunes on there underneath you can see underneath is the um, I'll just move that that's the muesli soaked in bread I love it when it's soaked so it's nice and soft that's the that's the the it's basically yeah it, it's like like Swiss muesli it's it's got um, it's got um, oat flakes and, and other flakes in it, other grains um, and some raisins and, and a few nuts and things. So this is a good bowl of uh, muesli that's very, very good for your digestion. It's very, very good for your health. Then we come to this. Here I brought some Stilton. Again, my girlfriend Alison Radborn uh, brought this. That, and all the stuff is in that box, that blue box that also Alison Radborn brought, and that goes in the fridge. Hospital staff keep it for us. Brilliant, and they bring it out for breakfast. So here, this is a toast. I buttered it, and then I put Stilton on it, and uh, some chunks of olives. Yeah, and then I put a bit of pepper and salt on top of it, and, and like that, and that's that's really nice. Here is my other toast and this toast um, basically has got egg on it underneath underneath it oh, 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 oh. underneath it, it's got some some brie it's lovely melted uh, it, it took me about 20 minutes to prepare all this um, but here here is my breakfast on top of it I've got this um, really healthy drink which I have one bottle a day it you know that this is good healthy food and this is just breakfast and, and you know you get lunch and you get supper that's the, the the hospital provide that so in the evening normally I have a salad and a cheese sandwich um, so I have some raw vegetables in the evening light lunch in the evening I normally put a few nuts onto the salad um, just to give a bit more protein because I'm vegetarian I need to watch out for protein um, this gives me um, vitamins um, it gives me some fiber and it gives me energy it's basically f um, freshly pressed juice it's got hardly any preservatives in it I don't think it actually has preservatives in it um, it's got lots of antioxidants because it, it's it's dark berries in it it's got lots of vitamins it's it's what why else has it got that's useful um i don't know um well if somebody wants to put it in the com in the comments i mean i could just go here and um 
that, so these are all the ingredients of this bottle. You know, you, you, you can see it, it's full of goodness, basically. Yeah, it's car carbohydrates. What does it say? Fat, zero gram. Um, yeah, so there you go. Fiber, 0 0.8 grams, and that's per 100 milliliters. This is 700 milliliters, I think. Yeah. So you can times it by 700 because I drink a bottle a day. Um, what else has it got? Well, here it's got all the vitamins. Um, it's got antioxidants. Antioxidants won't even be on this list. Should be really, yes. Do you read labels? I read labels when I go and shop. Um, I try to anyway, um, but I can't do it if I forget my glasses. Um, right, anyway, so uh, then here, the last toast is, mar uh, is marmalade. I have two toasts of marmalade. I eat them first, because I sweet eat the sweet things first, and then I eat the, the, the savoury things last, so that um, basically my mouth has experiences salt uh, last. That's le less aggressive for my teeth. Um, so here, marmalade... I've looked it up recently. Marmalade is excellent for your digestion. It helps you digest. And it's got lots of other benefits as well. And then, of course, I have written in butter A. That's for Alison. And the plus. And Felix. So I'm I'm in love with Alison. It's just a little thing I do because it's... Yeah, I, I you know, I love her. I can't be with her at the moment. Um, you know, she's, she has come and visited couple of times which was really lovely to see her and I miss her really and here I've just written you know Alison and Felix on the toast because I can and because I butter the toasts um, I normally put the butter on first wait 10-15 minutes till it gets soft you know because the butter comes straight out of the fridge it's hard gets soft and then it it spreads really easy let's have a look how easy this spreads so let's do the Felix first. Look how easy this spreads. Nice. Oh, see, in hospital you have lots of time. So I do things like that. I I love just to spread this. So this is lovely. Okay. So mm, yeah, that's nice. This is a nice activity. All right. So now I'm showing a little bit of my personality. It's always nice to give something private away, something you enjoy. And um, I'm enjoying putting this butter on right now. Um, and then here is that's the that's the um, the marmalade, which you now if this were homemade marmalade, I'd be in absolute paradise. But this marmalade is good enough. It comes in these plastic. Uh, oh, where are we? comes in these plastic containers um, it's a shame really I, I what I could do is I could actually get a glass jar and they would put it in the fridge and they would bring it out every day um, yeah and actually marmalade you can probably even keep out of the fridge um, the marmalade doesn't need to be in the fridge I don't think maybe once you open it but it's it's got sugar in it which is acts as a preservative um, but yes, here we go. This is all ready, ready to eat now. So first I'm going to eat the toasts. Then I'm going to eat... So the sweet, seed, sweet things first. First I'm going to eat the toast. Um, to those two toasts. Uh, the marmalade one and the other marmalade. I'm going to spread that afterwards. Then I'm going to eat the muesli. And then in the end I'm going to... as a as a dessert, you know, as a dessert, I'm going to eat the Stilton and olive sandwich uh, toast, and the uh, the egg and brie um, toast. I'm going to eat last of all. That there's that's protein again. Vegetarians need to watch out for protein. There we go. Right. So to end this clip, sorry, it's a bit long, but. You know, there we go. So th this is what I really enjoy doing, and I hope you enjoyed watching and 
I wiggle my toes and I'm saying goodbye to you. This, uh, I have to do this for physio. To, I'm basically having to learn how to walk again. And the, I, I need to rest quite a lot because physio is hard work. I do probably out, I don't know, two, three hours of physio, some exercises, walking, that kind of thing. And it's now the weekend, so I've got lots of time to relax. So I've just spent about half an hour preparing my breakfast, and now I'm going to enjoy eating it. Well, thanks for watching, and yes, I will m move home soon, and maybe I'll make some more nerdy-type silly videos like this that you can just enjoy and watch or ignore and make a silly comment about um, thank you for all your comments that um, you have done on videos that I've done in the past and yeah thank you for watching